You are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson. 2004 Olympian. Four-time national judo champion. Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Author, speaker and coach. Welcome to another edition of Coffee with Radi. Now, in the last couple of episodes, we talked about several different things. We talked about Batman and the, the things that you can learn from Batman in terms of utilizing your resources, in terms of maximizing the most of yourself and those around you. We also talked about your lost and found box. We talked about when, when all hope is lost, sometimes you need to find a little bit more faith. But inside of that story of, of the lost and found box, there was one key point that I want to kind of expound on and touch upon a little bit more. When I told you that story, I spoke to you about a directive that my parents gave me. They told me, don't bring the Rubik's Cube to school. And if I had obeyed those instructions, everything that happened after that may not have occurred. And there is something to be said about obedience. And what I want to talk to you about in today's Coffee with Radio, I want to talk to you about obedience. A lot of people don't like the word obedience because they don't like the word obey. But the key is that you have to obey something or you have to obey somebody. When we walk around on this earth, we obey the laws of gravity. We don't defy them and we can't defy them. Everything that goes up sooner or later is going to come down. I can tell you right now that when I have obeyed when I, when I received the directive from a superior or someone who was, um, who was in charge of a thing or championed a, a program, things worked a lot better. It's okay to offer up some advice as a contrarian. It's okay to adopt some contrarianism every once in a while. It's okay to be the antithesis, antithesis to someone so that you can reach synthesis. Those things are okay, but you still have to obey. Now, if we remove the word obey out, because a lot of people don't like the word obey, there's no way you can obey without discipline. And I tell people this all the time. You cannot be disciplined unless you are a disciple. Now, how do you become a disciple? Well, a disciple becomes disciplined because a disciple is pursuing the truth. So when it comes to, let's use something as simple as sport. When it comes to sport, what is the truth about sport. The truth about sport is if you don't work hard and if you don't study, you are not going to win. That's the truth. So become a disciple about the truth and then become disciplined in working hard and in studying. Let's talk about academics. If you don't work hard and if you are not studious, you are not going to succeed in academia. Become a disciple in that and then become disciplined in it. If you are writing a dissertation, you are not going to finish your dissertation if you do not write. So become a disciple about writing, study writing, study APA format, MLA format, whatever you have to study, and then become disciplined in writing. You are not going to have good relationships if you don't tell the truth and are not honest with your partner. Man, become a disciple in telling the truth. Become a disciple in honesty and then become disciplined in that. Become a disciple in conversation. When it comes to the sports that I like, you are not going to be a great judo player without quality grip fighting and without doing the repetitions. Become a disciple in grip fighting. Become a disciple about doing reps, understand deliberate practice, and then become disciplined in those areas and in those things. You have to obey the laws of success become a disciple about success and to become disciplined in doing the things that are going to allow you to be successful. I'm telling you a an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. All right. My cousin, Mark Beckford, used to say this all the time. He say obedience is better than sacrifice. And it, it comes out of the Bible um, where it's easier to obey than to disobey and then have to offer up some type of sacrifice later. It just takes more, it just takes more time, 
takes more. It, it just takes, it, it just, it's kind of like when you sit down and you try to fix something in your house by yourself and you mess it up and then you got to eventually call the handyman. Listen, you knew you couldn't fix that situation and it took you more time trying to do it yourself or trying to hire somebody. We just got somebody who was a professional out the gate to just do it. But now you end up paying twice. You end up paying with your labor and your time and you end up paying for their labor and their time. Just, just, just obey. You know you're not disciplined in that area. Just obey, just obey the laws. Like you have not, you have not put the time and the deliberate practice in. Obedience is better than the sacrifice. If someone gives you some good advice, heed the good advice. If someone gives you a commandment, heed the commandment. If someone gives you a directive, heed the directive. It's better than sacrifice. It's like if a coach tells you to do something in a match, man, do it. If your business coach tells you to do something, just do it. Just obey. I know, it doesn't, I know people don't like the word obey. I don't like it either. But I need to obey too. I have coaches. When my coaches tell me something, I... I obey. Well, I try to obey. Sometimes I'm disobedient too. And you know what? It takes me more time. And I understand that obedience would be better than sacrifice. So learn how to obey. It'll save you time. Be disciplined. And understand that you can't be disciplined unless you are a disciple. So that's what you have to take away from today. O-D-D. Ah. Obedience. Discipline and be a disciple. Take care. This is Dr. Ferguson, and have a super fantastic day. And remember, I love you, but God loves you best.